I will bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. Yes, hallelujah. I thank God. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continuously be in my mouth. I just truly give an honor to God today, uh, who is the head of my life. Uh, I just thank him for uh, Pastor Carlito, my Pastor Ricky, and his absolute, just to whom all honor is due. I just truly thank God. Uh, for a mind to run on and see what the end's going to be. Yeah. I, I, I often ask the Lord to let me be with him in paradise. Mm -hmm. I said, Lord, don't leave me. My and I just thank him. I, that's a prayer of mine all the time. Yes. Help me to see myself and, you know, give me his uh, attributes so that, that I can be with him yes. in paradise, as yes. the thief said on the cross. Thank and that really touched me and said, Lord, let me be with you in paradise. Yeah. Uh, that's my prayer. Thank you, Lord. And I would just, uh, I'm so thankful uh, for this day. It is a day that God has made. It's a day that we have never seen before, nor will it ever come again. Yeah. So I thank him for a brand new day. He said new mercies and uh, every day. Thank new mercies God. every day. Yeah. <clears throat> I just had a was thinking, I was praying, uh, you know, and I was like, Lord, you know, just lead me because we're not supposed to do anything without the Lord. Amen. And, you know, sometimes we go up and, and sometimes we think that God could do this, but he can't do that. Come on. And so I'm like, you know, I, I think about my, I look back over my life and I, if I had a new God, the way I know him now, mm. you know, if I would have really... Because sometimes we can sing, we can quote the scriptures, we can say things, but we're not applying it to our life. Yes. And so if I knew to ask God to order my steps yes. years ago, you know, my God, yes. but I thank him it's never too late. That's right. While I yet have breath in my body, I still ask God to order my steps because... I know that my steps might, Trisha's steps might want to go somewhere else. Yeah. But if we order by the Lord, he'll lead us in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. His name's sake. And I thank God, and that's the key, he will lead us. Yeah. Not flesh, you know, not ourselves. Um, we make a shipwreck. Yeah. I, I made a shipwreck. But God is so merciful. Yeah. There's no condemnation. There's no regrets. You know, but we thank God that we see, we learn from our mistakes. Yeah. And I just thank God that, you know, he is inside of me. Yes. And I, I accepted him. And, you know, he said he first loved me. Yeah. He first loved me. Yeah. You know, and I just thank him. I thank him for my mother. My parents, you know, from uh, leading me, you know, she raised, mama raised us up in church. Thank you, Lord. And um, then I realized it was a time where you could uh, go to church, but the church ain't in you. That's right. You know, you go to church on Sunday, but then you do whatever you want to do Monday through Saturday. Yeah. You know, so I thank God that it said, learn of me. Yeah. The Bible says, learn of me. He's telling us to learn of him. Yeah. And I just thank God because the Bible has just never had so much meaning in my life and until, you know, this latter part of my life and uh, last couple of years. I mean, I took it serious, but... I, I I I realize now that I need him. Yeah. I realize now that this is not a a play thing. Yeah. You know, this is not something you like. You get the remote and you turn it on and you turn it off. Come on. That ain't how it works for me. Yeah. I thank God. I thank God. So I I said, Lord, I thank you that I'm learning of you. Yeah. I want your attributes. I want to act like you. Yeah. I want to look like you. I want you to open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Yes, Lord. I want to see you. Hey. I want to see him one day. And he said that the righteous will see him. And I just thank God I was uh, praying that the Lord, you know, would give me something. And, um, yes, Lord. And uh, he gave me uh, ways to be the church. Mm. Ways to be the church. 
in so many ways that we can be the church. People feel like uh, the church is a building. But the church is not a building, the church is us. Come on. The church is supposed to be, and this is just an edifice. You know, right. Jesus would dwell here. You know, he dwells, he said, where two or three are gathered in his name, that he'll be in the midst. He will dwell, but the church is in us. That's right. Because if it wasn't, if once we leave out of here, then where would the church be? It'd be still sitting here. That's right. So I thank God to, that I know that the church is, is, is in me. The church is me. It's not a building. It's me. Yeah. And I said, so it's ways that we can be the church. We know that he's coming back for a church without a spot or wrinkle. Yeah. We know that. And so I thank God that we have to really think about, you know, man, I tell you that how, you know, the scriptures that our body is a living sacrifice and you know, we didn't went out there and abused it and let it control us. I'm guilty. You know, let it control me and just take you all over the globe and take you everywhere and every which way it but loose. You know, but I thank God for learning of him. Yeah. Learning of his ways and knowing him for myself. Yes, Lord. My mama been passed on so long ago. Jeez. My dad is gone. So you got to know the Lord for yourself. Yeah. And I'm talking about ways to be the church. Ways to be the church. Uh, you know, uh, the world is filled with people seeking hope. People seeking, they, they seeking signs, they seeking wisdom, they seeking support from other people. And um, it's a void there. There's a void that, that people, they don't realize it's God. They don't realize it. They fill it with alcohol. They fill it with drugs, with sex, with porno, whatever. You know, they fill that void and, and it'll never be filled. That's right. Because God is the only one that could take that loneliness. Yeah. He's the only one that can fill that void. You know, he's better than alcohol. Yes, he he's is. better than any drug Come that we on. could ever have. Yeah. Because that stuff takes you up and then brings you down. Yeah. But God is always dwelling in our hearts. Yes, he is. He said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. Yeah. And I thank him for his many blessings. Thank you, Lord. My God. And so we had a way to be the church yesterday. We had our prayer. We had a uh, we had a prayer yesterday. We had a little tent up and we had a, uh, it said prayer here today. And I, I mean, I was just so excited yeah. uh, to be a part of that because it made me think about, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Yeah. Maybe there's a time I wouldn't have held up no sign. I wanted, I wanted to be saved, but only at my church and only when I got into the end church. My but I, I would have never held a sign up. But I thank God I was so happy. Jesus. I was showing all my teeth yesterday. Because the goodness of God. Yeah. We didn't have no S-U-N yesterday. Come on. But we had the S-O-N. Yeah. It was cloudy and windy, but oh. God, my God word set out what it what it accomplished yeah. to do. Yeah. God's word went out. Yeah. He said his word will not go out void. That's right. And his word set out what it accomplished to do. Yeah. We had a PA system set up and we was uh they can hear us singing and crying out for the land. Yeah. For the leadership, for the president, for the children and for the wickedness, wickedness of the land. And I was so proud to be a part of that. Thank you, Jesus. You know, we got a lot of people honking their horns and they gave us the thumbs up. But you know, people don't want prayer nowadays. But the Bible told us these things will be. That's right. But it don't mean that you can't pray for them. That's right. I even ask God, everybody that honked their horn, everybody that passed by, to just bless them. Yeah. Let them know that you are real. Yeah. And I just thank God. So I was just like extra excited and yeah. I feel so good. It just made me feel it, it set my day. Yeah. It set the pace of my day. And uh, I stood out there and walked and stuff, and boy, I could barely get out of my car. <laughs> my legs was hurting, but you know what? It was for Jesus. Because I remember my legs would hurt for dancing. Come on. So I thank God that it was hurting for a purpose. Yeah. To proclaim the gospel. My God, I proclaim the gospel. I thank God. My yeah. God. So that just meant 
meant so much to me. Really? And I think it helped for people to see that. Yeah. Like you said, we have to come out of the four walls. I said that we was giving away free milk and clothes and we they would have we would have had a traffic jam. Yeah. But when they seen that it was just prayer, they feel like it's just prayer. But my God. They don't know. That's all right. It's almost like, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. They don't know they need that prayer. Jesus. My God, but I thank God we prayed. You know, we had free Bibles and everything. If anybody wanted prayer and stuff, but I thank God that I was a part of it. I am not ashamed of the gospel. Thank you, Lord. My God. So we just have, you know, there's so many ways that we could be the church. Yeah. And I was, it was saying, uh, what are some ways we can be part of the church to people who may not be part of, of our of a church? You know, so just kind gestures through the day. I'm one that, you know, always smiling and, you know, when I go out to the stores and stuff and just on my daily walk, I can go to my car if I see a neighbor or something, you know, I just throw my hand up. I may not have met them, but, you know, just that's God saying hello. Yeah. We are supposed to be the church. Be the church. Some people are looking at us. Yeah. People are watching you, you know, to see how you're going to handle things, how you're going to act, how, you know, how you're going to dress, how you're going to look, what you're going to do, yeah. you know, and we're to be the church. We're to be hope for people. We're supposed to be their hope because this, you know, we may be the only Bible that a person reads. That's right. So we got to know that Christ dwells on the inside of us. Thank you, Lord. You know, and so just a kind gesture, you know, do something sometime with, without wanting anything back. Yeah. Do something without wanting anything back. I know I'm a giver. I thank God. I am a giver. I, I, I can't help myself. I can't help. You know, I have to give people something. Yes. That's just my heart. I know that's the love of God dwelling down on the inside of me. I take no credit for that, but I thank God. You know, I'm always thinking of, of God and his people and other people. I just, you know, it don't matter who it is. Yes. I just feel like I have to give something away. I'm always bringing something in a bag or something, and I love that. That just makes me so happy because I know that God... You know, he he shines through me. Yeah. And he want us. You know, you don't you know you don't all don't want to just some people don't want to give anything away. They want every, they just want to keep everything for themselves. But I thank God. Yeah. You know, so there's ways that you know you could just um uh we need to step out of our comfort zone. Yeah. We need to step out of our comfort zone in churches. You know, we come to church and. You know, we sit in our seats and God forbid somebody sitting there in your seat that you think that your name is on it. And it's just because they, now she know I sit there every Sunday, but we don't have, you know, no seats with our names on it. That's right. We ought to be glad just that the person came. Yeah. But see, we get tradition, we get, you know, so tra traditionalized. And we feel like, you know, okay, I'm good in here and everybody knows me and they know that's my seat. But nobody sit in my seat. God don't want us to be that way. That's right. You t you go over there and sit by the person. So you don't. I hope you don't go and tell the person you sitting in my seat. I've had somebody tell me that. Wow. They, I've had people tell me you're sitting in my seat, and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. That's not of God. That's not of God. And, and it was 50 other seats empty, but they want you know the, the seat I'm in. My God. So we gotta be careful, but we gotta come out of that comfort zone. Yeah. And we gotta allow God to move. In us, yeah, you know, just being nice, just you know, we can uh, deliver, you know, some baked goods or something to our neighbors. People don't do that no more. You know, you see that only on Lifetime. Yeah, you know, people come in and, and they knock on the door and have a whole cake. And I know it's TV. I'm like, now why ain't that cake covered up? You know, <laughs> but they have a whole cake or some cookies and then introduce themselves and I'm so and so and. You know, we those are those are Christ attributes yes, it is. that we're supposed to have. Yeah. You know, it don't supposed to be like, well, why I never think about doing nothing good for nobody. We don't supposed to think like that. Yeah. If we have Christ on the inside of us, it's gonna come natural. Yeah. You know, like they said, the uh <clears throat> I think about the police 
officers and the emergency response people, you can go to the fire station or anywhere, uh, flag a cop down and have a bag with a, a, a muffin in it with a God bless you on it. Yeah. You know, those are the things that God wants to do to draw people. Yeah. Because that's what he did when he walked the earth. He healed, yeah. set free, and delivered. Yes, he did. And he tells us that in Luke 10 and 19 that we have the power also. That's right. We also have the power yeah. to heal, set free, and deliver, to walk over serpents, and by no means anything shall hurt us. That's right. That's his word. Yes. And I thank God there's so many things that we could do that's being the church. You know, so many people are content with just coming in, sitting, you know, been in the church for 30 years, sitting in the same seat, and they just want to sit there. I can't sit down. I cannot sit down. Thank you, Lord. It's something about the name of Jesus. It makes my hand go up every now and then. It makes my feet move. My God, it's something about the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I cannot just come in the house of God and sit down. Yes. I got to do something for the Lord because he reigns on the inside of me. Yeah. I wasn't shamed when I was in that club acting a fool. So don't come in here all like you holy, you know, like, hello, bless you, bless you. Like your mouth, like you done sucked on a limb and act like you can't open your mouth. Jesus. I'm like, what? Well, bless you too. Yeah. And I mean, don't even want nobody to know that you're saved. You just want to come here. You even, the enemy even told you when you got up that you, I'm just going to church today. I hope nobody say nothing to me. I don't want them to call me up for no solos. I don't want them to call me for nothing. The enemy tells you that some people, that before they even, when they get up in the morning. Mm -hmm. And you accept it. Yeah. You come in here all the way, it's almost like you're rehearsing a speech. I'm going, I don't want nobody to say nothing to me. <laughs> you drive it in your car, you come, you, you it's like, like a speech. Uh -huh. And so, I mean, we, there's ways to be the church. Yeah. That is not a way to be the church. My God, it's just so many th kind things that we can do. Just to put a smile on people's face. Yeah. And smiling is, is to me is one of the big, big things. I'm, I'm a smiler. Because there's no way that Christ can dwell inside of me and I go around saying, I don't like to smile. Yeah. Uh-uh. I'm gonna let it shine. That's right. All 30, how many teeth we have? <laughs> Might have a couple missing, but however many you got, right. you can still smile. Still can smile. We can be the church people. Be the church, my God. Mm. You know, we can put a little note, a little scripture on something, and uh, sometimes we get comfortable with each other. Yes, we you know, we get in the church and we've been members and, and uh, we, you know, might just say anything to each other because we're comfortable. Mm. But that's not how it's supposed to be. That's not being the church. We have to respect each other at all times. And if Christ is truly dwelling in you and you walking around saying that you are the church, then you want to do the right thing yeah. at all times. Yeah. Because we know not the hour nor the minute that Jesus is coming back. That's right. Saints, I don't want to be left down here. That's right. I read my word, and I know he's a merciful God, but there's a time, you know, if I have to make it in the rapture. Yeah. I have to. And I'm doing everything that I can to show the Lord, you know, to, God knows us. Yes, he he knows us. He knows when you fake and when you get in here and you want the pastor to see you that you're here. That's right. You know, he knows what you're coming from. Yeah. He know what you're coming for. That's right. You know, so I just thank God that he, you know, I just want God to just use me for his purpose. Yeah. Because we were made for his purpose. That's right. That's the only purpose that he oh, created God. for, for his purpose and his will. Yes, That's why we're to pray, God, let your will be done. Yeah. Not my will, God, because my will will get so mad at everybody. And, and say, well, no, you ain't going to heaven. I'm not going to let you through. No. And then you want to let all your family through. Thank God that God is not like that. That he's a just God. Yes, he is. And he wants us to be the church. Yeah. My God. It, you know, it only takes a few seconds. 
you know, just to do something kind of call somebody yeah. and check on them. Mm -hmm. Now I said check on them, not gossip with them. You know, because sometimes you can be trying to, yeah, I just call to check on your sister. The Lord laid you on my heart. And they saying, well, did you see sister so-and-so? I seen at the store, but it's mighty funny she can't come to church. You don't, you know, you got to nip that in the bud. Yeah. I learned that that blood would be on my hand. You know, don't be like, oh, I didn't know how to tell her. And I didn't. You sitting up there listening to her. You done fell in the trap. Sister, I got to go. I ain't about all that. I ain't about all that gossiping. I don't care if they don't speak to you again. I mean, because that's not being the church. That's right. But there's so many ways that we could check on each other, send somebody a text, you know, a quick text just saying, I love you. Yeah. I got this, uh, these little emojis on my phone or pictures, and it's just this big gorilla, he just flopping around. And sometimes I send that to somebody because I know that's going to make you laugh. Uh -huh. And then I might uh, think about somebody, and then it's this dog, and he's just showing all his teeth. The dog is just smiling. <laughs> And I sent it, and, and, and you know, I sent it to my daughter, and she said, "Mama, that look at them teeth," and it made her laugh. Yeah. You know, so there are so many ways that we can be the church. Be the church. Be the church. Yeah. Not just come to church, but we have to be the church. Yeah. It's a difference in coming to church and being the church. Mm. My God, it just you know we can it just it, it just like I said it takes a second. I know my son recently been uh, asking me for uh, some of the family's uh, address and stuff. And he said, Mom, I think I just want to send a postcard or something. I said, you know what? That's nice, Jada. I said, because uh, we need each other. Yes, we I said, y'all generation is kind of different. I said, I was raised up with my cousins. And, yeah. you know, we all kept in touch with each other. I said, but I don't want you to just call somebody in time of trouble. You know, or I got to call the family and, uh, well, uh, Jay needs some help, help them, you know, or, or Brittany needs some help and they ain't heard from y'all in 20, they don't even know how old y'all is because they ain't seen you in 50 years. Oh, I want you, you know, I teach them to uh, reach out to your family and loved ones and friends while it's yet day. Yeah. The Bible said while there's breath. Yet in our bodies, That's right. we are to praise Him. Yeah. We are to call upon His name. Yeah. We are to reach out to, hey, uh, sister, I just want you to know I love you today. Yeah. It only takes a few minutes because, see, life gets busy. Yes, it does. My agenda for myself is cleaning my house, doing laundry, and cooking, and doing everything, vacuuming, and everything. But what about God's agenda? Uh, See, we can get so busy. We can get so busy. I was just telling somebody today, you know, you ought to have your family's phone number in your, uh, in your uh, contact. You ought to check on them. Check on them. They'll be glad to hear from you. Yeah. Don't wait. Well, they don't call me, That's so right. I ain't calling them. That's right. No, we don't do that. Uh-uh. Not that, not to, not you walking around saying you the church. Come on, you don't do that. We got to examine ourselves. Yeah. My God. Yeah. I've been examining myself. My God. And I, I ain't say, well, okay, Lord, I don't see nothing wrong. Help. I, I don't say that. Jesus. And I don't even say, Lord, if you find. I say, Lord, when you find. Because see, His ways and thoughts is not our ways and thoughts. You know, we can think that we can we just doing something, you know, forgot about uh, you was just at the store and somebody stepped in front of you and you got mad. You know, forgot about that. The Bible said repent for nothing. Be the church. We have to be the church. My God, there's yeah. so many things that we could be doing. Yeah. There's elderly people out there. My you God. know, some in your own family that you don't go see because they old. Yeah. Oh, they old. Yeah. Well, they'll be glad to see you. Yes, they will. They will be glad. I remember my sister, uh, Deborah, when she was passing, I had told her uh, my cousin wanted to go, you know, she wanted to see her. Mm. And then she said, well, no, I don't want to go up to the hospital I don't want to see her like that. like that. But what about her seeing you? What about her seeing you? Yeah. See, we got to move self out of the way. Yeah, come on. That, she would have been so glad to see that person and the baby. Yeah. You know, because God took her on. 
She, you know, she forget about what you don't want to see. Come on. How do that? You better come see me. Yeah. You better say hi to me. Y'all better come. Because you got to think about the other person, not always what you don't want. That's right. It, you know, you got to think about others. I'm always thinking about other people. It's certain people I, you know, the Lord lays on my heart. Now, you just can't be calling every and anybody. Just because you feel like you the church and you're a Christian, you can't just be calling every and anybody. Because every and anybody is not what God wanted you to do. Right. So see, you got to ask God. Yeah. See, once you, when you the church, you walking in him, you breathing in him, you eating and sleeping in him, you know, you just surrounding yourself with the word and people, God will lay people on your heart. Yes, he will. You'd be like, hmm, now, I, I don't know now, this is the second week I've been thinking about, now you didn't just let it go on in two weeks. Help, Lord. Lord told you a week ago, you even tell yourself, now this is the second week that I've been thinking about so-and-so, and I ain't even called him. Jesus. And then you say it out your mouth, and then two more weeks, it'll be a whole month. Mm. A whole, uh-uh. Do what God tell you to do when he tell you to do it. Yeah. Be the church. Be the church. That's the way to be the church, by reaching out to us. And then he'll tell you, you know what? Honey, I've been thinking about you too. I've just been too weak to call you. My God. I'm so glad you called me. See, just the little things yes. that God will shine through us, and He that's how He wants us to be. Yes, Lord. My God, in the Galatians, uh, uh, Galatians 6 and 2, it said, Bear ye one another's burdens. Oh. Let me turn to that. Can you read that, Pastor Carlina? Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. All right. That's that's uh, Galatians 6 and 2a, part a. And, and you know, I learned that bearing each other's burdens, see, people get that wrong. They be like, well, sister, I can't help you, or I don't know what to pray if you don't tell me, tell me everything. You don't have to tell them everything. You don't have to tell them nothing. You're supposed to be the church. And I came to you and called you because I thought you was, you know, a Christian. I thought you was, you know, and you want me to sit up and pour my heart out about me and my husband or... No, you don't have to do all that. That's right. You, you know, I can see, you know, I can see sometimes people come in with a sorrowful spirit and... And sometimes just going up and hugging them. Yeah. You don't pull them back in the pastor's office while he back out here preaching and you back there counseling. My God. You out of line. That's right. You don't do that. You hold that person and say, I'm you gotta hold on. Yeah. I'm praying for you, sister. You you don't you know, most of you like, girl, I seen today you was a little bit sad today. Girl, call me after church. Help us, you want us to call them so you can you can ask them all their business. Mm -hmm. You don't do that. That's right. You don't do that. You you just we just have to be there for each other. That's bearing one another's burdens. Yeah. Being there. Somebody may not have any food. You might have heard about it. You know, they, they could have called you and just said, you know, I don't want to talk about it. They might be crying and say, you know, if you have anything over there, you don't get up and come to church and uh, oh, I don't see sister so-and-so today, sister Bible today. I know, I don't see, I ain't seen in a couple of weeks. I know she did call me for some food. You don't do that. That's right. My God, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. that was your reward right there. Mm -hmm. You know, we need one another. It's some people think that we don't need each other. Right. We need one another. We, do. we need each other. Yes. And that's how we bear each other's burden by some a smile is bearing somebody's burden. Yeah. Because somebody say, You just don't know that I needed that today. Yeah. You just don't know that when you text me that scripture, I was going through and that scripture just brightened up my day. Yeah. Think of some positive things to do. It's too much evilness in this world. Yes, it is. And then you coming in here, you know, amongst the saints. Wanting people to think that you're a saint, but see, the spirit knows the spirit. Yeah. But you know, we don't judge you. We just pray for you. You don't have to. You need. It's times I had to fall down on my knees. Yeah. And cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, I need 
you. Yeah. I didn't have to come in here and pretend. You know how the enemies try to make you feel a little tear roll down your eye and you uh you know rub your eye and somebody bring you a tissue. You're like, oh, I wasn't crying. It doesn't matter. Cry. Yeah. Then you then the enemy had you lie in the house of God because you was crying. My God. It don't take all that. Father, I need you. Yes. Lord, I stretch my hand to thee. My God, I need you, God. Yes, Lord, help me. Yes, God. I often ask God on a daily basis, Lord, help me. help me. Sometimes I don't even know what's going on. I just in the spirit, I just be like, Lord, help me. I don't know why I'm saying that. I'll just be like, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Yes, Lord. So there's ways you got to really be the church. Be the church. You know how they say, don't just talk about it, be about it. Yeah. There's too many people talking about it. See, we know, we know the right thing to do. Yeah. We know how to get up and testify. Yeah. We know how to get up and put on our church stuff that be like, no, oh, that's just for church, that's for Sundays. Mm -hmm. We know how to get up and do all that stuff and give an honor to the pastor and the first lady and all the saints of God, my God, and I, you know, we know how to tell it. We know how to testify. We know. Everybody, they, woo, praise God. They don't know you rehearsed that on the way to church because you already know. But allow God inside of you so he will give you your own testimony. Yeah. So you have to have an encounter with him. That's right. You have to have an encounter with him yeah. for him to dwell. You have to accept him in your heart. Yes. That way you don't have to get up and, and testify. I know somebody, I know years ago somebody would get up if I, if I testified and said, I thank God for my grandkids, they would say the same thing. They would get right up behind me and say the same thing. Wow. I said, my God. I said, I just testified that. But you know, God is there to help us yeah. to be the church. Yeah. He don't just want us to walk this thing and talk this thing, but he wants us to live it. You know how sometimes people just say, it's just something about you. Yeah. It's just something about you. They didn't know, you know, I work, and they didn't, they were like, you're just different. It's something about you. Now, I wasn't perfect, but you know what I'm saying? But God said that we are marked. We are marked. His people, we have a mark on us. God has a mark on his people. He know us. Yes, he, he know. He said, let the weed and the tear grow together. Yes. And he'll do the suffering. That's right. It ain't for me to say, you don't belong in this church. Mm -hmm. You get out of here. No, we don't do that. Yeah. Uh-uh, you don't do that. Because we can become a part of a body of a church and we think that uh, our name is on the deed. Yeah. We think we can do everything. They ain't even ask the pastor. He come riding by and he see you taking tables and chairs. Now you didn't even ask him, can you use the tables and chairs? Help us, Lord. That's just respect. Jesus. God, help us, Lord. Help us. You know, you don't, uh, when somebody call you and or you call somebody and, you know, you don't backbite. You don't do that. It's just so many things we can cook a meal. I ain't, they ain't big on cooking. I don't, I don't really like to cook. I cook. <laughs> My husband just think it's the best thing in the world. But tell me, you ought to open a restaurant. I said, you'll never get me out there. <laughs> Wonder why nobody coming to get no food. <laughs> but I thank God. There's just so many little things that we can do. Yeah. I know I like to make banana pudding for the saints. And one of the saints wanted banana pudding with no bananas. So I made it. You know, I hold to my word. Yeah. Because that's being the church. Yeah. Saints, I just want y'all to know today that God is real. Yeah. The church in us, we're supposed to be real. Yeah. Keep it real for the Lord. Keep it real. Keep it real. Yeah. My God, just be the church. Be the church. Pray my strength in the Lord. Amen.